Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, the good and old people of the tube. Hope you're well today, hope you're feeling grand and always well in your world. Today, I have an app to show you. This is my PV Bandit from 1990 or 91, I forget. It's written inside the chassis, but I've only had it out once, and I forget now offhand um, what year it actually is. Uh, but this is an awesome amp. This was another uh, cash converter second-hand sh uh, shop find. I bought this for all of £70. Uh, and I bought a demo with my Ibanez. I'm also going to switch to my Lemon Drop Les Paul later on because there's one tone I get out of the Les Paul on this that I absolutely adore and I want to share with you all. But uh, before I start playing, £90, 70 quid. So under 200, 200 quid, you'd have had, uh, we could have bought this kind of setup. This is like, um, this is easy gigable. It's so loud, this is 80 watts. This is a great guitar, a great amp, uh, foot switch with uh, reverb and channel select. For under 200 quid for a gig cell and a home setup as well, because it goes quite nice and quiet as well and retains a great sound. So, oh, amazing. Uh, we've got a 12 inch Scorpion speaker, two channels, distortion uh, clean. Uh, awesome, awesome spring reverb. Uh, let me show you some sounds uh, on the Ibanez through it. I'm straight in, no pedals. Sounds really nice, and I say if I uh, reverb's on two at this point in time, if I put the reverb to four. Really nice. Uh, reverb halfway. So that's all one notch. You get a lot of reverb all the way up, you get that Jeff Buckley. associate loads of reverb with Jeff Buckley or Dick Dale, which I can't do. Uh, all bookers don't do surf very well. But um, I always associate that kind of like mass washed out reverb sound with Jeff Buckley and, and people like Dick Dale. So let's move on to Distortion Channel now. shop I went to where I found this I didn't see it I just happened to go around again and look at another amp and I just saw this hiding under a keyboard and I was like 
is that a PB? I thought it was a keyboard down because it was under a keyboard. And I was like, it's a, P it's a PB Bandit. And it was like 70 quid. And I was like, I'm having it right now. No COVID bankrupts me. I'm having it right now. Just an awesome amp. Uh, I got a Fex loop. I say it came with the original foot switch, which I find to be pretty rare with oh, kind of like no early PVs because they're plastic and you know they're not they're not the not the best made part of the amplifier. They you know the amp itself is built like a tank, but the pedals are always a bit like when you stand on it, you feel like you're going to go through it. It's not like made of metal and it just feels a bit flimsy. The switches themselves are great, but it's just the yeah, outer kind of casing isn't. Doesn't feel that great. And the lead is really thin as well. That's my phone going off again. It always interrupts. That means it's a YouTube comment because I get two dings. But anyway, moving get, going back to the amplifier. I say the amp feels like it's built like a tank. Uh, the normal channel uh, has a low, mid, high, and a presence uh, uh, thingy. It's got a bright switch as well. Let me show you a bright switch quick. So. That's without. This is with. So without. And with. So it does, you know, it's such a thing. I always have it out. I'm not a big fan of super bright things. Uh, so, and the presence is like a PA thing. It's a cut or a boost. Uh, the gain channel has super sat, which just sounds ace. Um, and the post, which is your volume. So super saturation depends on how much gain you want. And then you've got a voicing section with bottom and edge. And again, that's like a PA. So at zero, it's kind of neutral. Uh, and then you're kind of cutting if you go that way and you're boosting if you go that way. It's kind of the other way around for you. But So it's kind of like... That's boosting and that's cutting. Ah, it's all confusing, it's all backwards and in reverse. Oh God, it's all gone wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna switch over to my uh, Lemon Drop Les Paul because there's one sound um, that I really wanna show you. And so basically it's on the lead gain channel. I'll turn the gain down to four, turn the reverb up, uh, yeah, turn the reverb, turn the gain down to four, turn the reverb up to four. We will get there eventually today. Uh, and it just sounds really cool for kind of like British blue stuff. Uh, so yeah, let me do that now. Okay, so switched over to the uh, Vintage Lemon Droplets Paul. Uh, I say now, um, I'll just let you know the settings, just where they were, just in case. Uh, and just give you an idea of how loud this amplifier is. On the clean channel, I've got the level between two and three, and one is technically kind of off, if you will. It's kind of like, nice kind of bedroom volume is between one and two, kind of like, you know, kind of nice volume, kind of not too loud is between two and three. Anywhere above three, it gets deafening, it's really loud. So that's where the volume is. I've got low and mid at five. High is between three and four, so it's about 11, 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, presence, I've cut it. I've cut the uh, presence down to, uh, it's kind of cut, it's back down three. Um, and as for the lead channel, the distortion channel, I've got the super sat now on four, it was on 10, because I'm a gain fanatic, old game. Uh, I like lots of sustain. Um, unless I'm playing on those Paul, then I like it to be a bit more barky, which is completely backwards, you, you know. I don't know, a bit mental. Anyway, I've got the bottom all the way up, it's, so it's plus 15, and I've got the edge all the way down on minus 15. So, uh, and the really cool thing is about, say, knocking this super set down to four, reverb up to four, gives this awesome Peter Greeny British blues kind of sound. <laughs>
like I get carried away on that sound. I'll just play that sound for hours, and I have played on that sound for hours, believe me. Um, say, so I'm in straight in again. There's no pedals, it's just straight into the amp, and it's just amazing. Because I think I've, I don't know if I've said it's, it's the 12 inch Scorpion speaker inside it, and it's just amazing. I say, when I got it too, it's, it's like pristine condition as well. The only thing that was the issue was obviously somebody had it like in a cupboard or something, and it was covered in spider webs. And once you get rid of all them, though, it's absolutely like you know, clean as a whistle. Uh, absolutely amazing, and it's got a low gain as well, which you kind of like. I'll just plug into that quick. It's just the same kind of thing. Kind of, it's a bit darker, less gain. <laughs> sound out of these things. I've always loved PV Bandits and I've always wanted a PV Bandit and I say to get this one and it just fell into my lap. It's just awesome. And I say for the price as well, it was just perfect timing. So uh, yeah, as I say, with the Ibanez, I've kept the Ibanez at the top because as I say, I mean I bought that for £90 and that's brand new, the Ibanez is. And I say this is in great nick as well, it worked fine, it's, it's all been pack tested. Um, for 70 quid. so under £200 you could have had, like you know, you can find Guitars like this and amps like this in second hand shops, and that's enough for a gig. I mean, I would go to a gig with that any, you know, any day of the week, you know, I really would. I'd be, I'd be very happy to go to a gig with this, with the Ibanez and this, as a sell, you know, no pedals, just that. It would make me very happy. So, um, yeah, it's just a, another example of what you can find in second hand shops. They're absolutely gaps absolute of gold mine sometimes. Sometimes you don't find anything, sometimes you do. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video on the PV Bandit 112 solo series from 1990 or 91, I forget. Uh, absolutely awesome amps. If you can get a PV Bandit, I would always recommend get a PV Bandit because they're amazing. Another one just came up like a couple of days ago on, a, on another site on Facebook that I follow, and I was like, ugh, I was so tempted to buy it, but I couldn't afford that one. So um, I have a PA repair to pay for. So. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, I will see you again very, 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 very soon for another one. Uh, have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening, and see you again. Goodbye.